Okay. If you are opportunity to be the president of this country right now, what is the first thing you do? You tackle at the first day in office. The first thing I will do before I get in the office. When you get to the office, what is the first thing you do? There are a lot of them, unlike looking for those people that are bringing corruption to the country and then send them one side, like removing them. Secondly, you have to bring security to the country and then light. I'm talking about repairing the road of Nigeria because the country now is, is totally bad. You have to look for a way to repair it. Whereby there are men that are there that bring corruption to the country. And you got to look for them to bring them down. So like right now, thank you for your view, for your point. I totally appreciate you. Now what is the advice would you have to give the current administration now? I tell the people on government now. What's your advice you have to, you have to for them right now? Mm, like, that's to advise them, like, okay, talk to them, share, share with them. Like. The thing is that they should have their own personal advice now. They do. They do, right? They do. Yeah, like, okay. maybe from your own view, like, okay, you want to advise me right now, you have my, I have everything, you want to give me an advice, like, okay, to encourage me that I'm not doing well, I'm doing well in my inside. What's your advice in the situation of this country? My advice is that he should listen to the people that he's leading. Because as a president, you have somebody that is following you. Then you got to listen to the to those people and know their problem. Because to everybody that is a leader, there are problems to the people that you are leading. And you need to know that problem so that you can help them. What is it? Right, thank you very, very thank much. You. Thank you. Please don't hesitate to follow up on the channel. Right. So, bro, like the presentation of this country now, if you happen to be the president of this country today, what is the first thing you do on the first day in office? Well, the first thing I would do the first day in, an of in the office is to pass uh, an executive bill for the reduction of poverty or elevation of poverty. And you think that would be helpful? Yeah, of course. You should, you should be able to alleviate uh, the suffering of the masses and maybe give hope. Nigerian city. Okay, so you are so concerned about the suffering of the masses? Of course, people are going, as of today, yeah. dollar is 114 naira against the naira. That is the current value. Yeah. In the history of Nigeria, we've never had it this bad. Yeah. And we are very, very backwards. Even though we are blessed with the, whatever we need to be comforted, okay. but yet we are not comforted. So what's your advice to the present administration, like the present government? Uh, the present government okay. should look at the fact that people are really suffering. But you see, suicide is on the increase because people think there's no hope for them. And every day you hear of young people, you know, committing suicide in a place where, or in a country where young persons have no hope. You understand? The crime rate will increase. Okay, people will go into social vices. You understand? And, uh, Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, I'll see you next time. My name is Red Cap Don't Thank forget. You, uh, follow best. me on all my social media handles. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me the question about today? Like, how you spend your day today? The early morning, when I come outside, I don't want to sit my and buy food. Come to, you know, after food, I come to shop. So, since, since the morning, I see the shop. I never go anywhere. I see the shop up to now. Like <laughs> every day we they show up, both Sunday, Saturday, from Monday to Sunday, every time we they show up. So I want so, to ask you another question. Mm -hmm. this presentation of this country now, if you are opportunity to be the president of this country now, what is the first thing you tackle in the first day in office? That will first tackle one. Uh, might just try to arrange the country, you understand? But because you know the country, people they suffer. I no go lie for it. People they suffer for the country. We we'll just try the country economy just be very bad. So like how which area are you starting from? Like we know it's bad. You know we actually know it's bad. Where and where where you go first touch? Now trenches now because now for trenches they suffer pass. Then how do you call the trenches? Mm, that one, that one really has. Yeah. But now me, I just know saying our trenches because our trenches they suffer pass. So, so I really do something. But our trenches, I go first start from. 
But anything will happen now, all those big men, then nothing concerns them. No samba, yeah. But in the trenches. You all made your concern in the trenches. Yeah, in the trenches. That means if you become president now, feel like we touch us where you come from trenches. In the trenches. So you don't go to the chop, sir. No, okay. Oh, you know, it really is. You don't go to the chop, sir. No, okay. Oh, you know, it really is. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We were thinking that the, the maybe our president or our leaders are not doing well. That's all where I was thinking. So me, I came out to ask a question about that. If you are opportune to be the president of this country for one day, what is the first thing that you tackle? Like, what, where will you start from in touching Nigeria? Making Nigeria a greater country, like a better place? Actually, actually basically, I feel like if I'm president of Nigeria, what, what I think I would do is um, <clears throat> it cause too much problem. So thinking of where to start from. But I think it's basically just balancing the economy because the economy is like the dollar and everything is affecting everybody. So I think basically we we be working on this already spoiled economy. Bro, what about you too? Like, if you are wanting to be president of this Nigeria right now, what is the first thing that you do? Where will you start tackling the country from? I go pay flex myself. I go pay flex myself. I love this summer guy. <laughs> So allow though. Uh, so you know, you know, nothing uh, concerns you. Concern no, us, nah, no. Nah, like you, know. you first, now. Nah. Okay. I believe flesh or say, flesh or say. One of I don't to go through things, guy. Okay. And uh, if I do, okay, finish. Uh, uh, yeah. I will punish some people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, they be mad. So, so let, let me start from you again. Like, okay, which advice are you going to give the people at the, at the peak now? Like our president, our administrator, our senate, and everything. What, what, which advice can you give them now, right now? Like. I think it will help to be of help to the country. So, anyhow, we've been now. Uh, if they go feel help with this guy, at least fuel, all this uh, electricity, mm. at least all these things, we be say all the pharmacy they benefit on, uh, at least all this kind of fuel, water, electricity, all those uh, at least they go help for that side. If you go, go better, small. But for now, if they know if you do that one for us, now we are with the get for there. Okay. No, they know if you share money for everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, if they feel help for that side. That's okay. Good, that's good. Uh, but what about you? I think basically for me, just them have a conscience because they, they, have, should, they, they should have conscience. Conscience. Because they lack it. They because, like. because they lack conscience because okay. if they, they do have conscience, the all those things that we need, they know it. So I just feel like if they if they can have conscience, everything. Just conscience. Just conscience. Just conscience. Thank you.